Got a problem. I can't anchor him to the memory. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting the treatment. Retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, Miss Stillman. He'll adjust. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Miss Stillman. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. I need you to lie down, Desmond. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. 
Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. Done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. So you're really an assassin? Like Altair? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up. The farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so, uh, creepy. Just a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us living, you know, off the grid. Why? Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to the man, you know? My dad was always going on about our enemies, how they'd be looking for us, how we'd have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. You have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. Gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. We've got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Got a question for you before I turn in. Sure. How did they find me? I mean, I haven't been anywhere near another assassin for ten years. Use your real name? Nope. Not before today. Credit cards? Cash only. Telephone? <laughs> it's no one to call. Driver's license? Motorcycle. Guilty pleasure. There's your answer. Photo, fingerprint. This is a drug company. What does Abstergo have to do with the DMV? Desmond, these guys are everywhere. They... I... I'm sorry, I, I really can't talk about it. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest.
So, feel like telling me who put the stick up his ass? We have a deadline. One week. Well, six days now. Deadline? I can't talk about it. Man, put yourself in my shoes. I'm being held hostage by a group of scientists, at least I think you're scientists, and forced to spend all day in some crazy-ass machine. You won't tell me what you're looking for or why you want it, but I'm supposed to be thanking you for keeping me alive. This is so fucked. Sorry, but it is. What do you want me to do? Hmm, let's see. I don't know. Maybe give me some answers? I can't. And it's better this way. Safer. Safer for who? Both of us. Hey, you know what? I've got a question I think you can actually answer. What's up? Why is it that sometimes the guys in there talk like they're from the future? The future? I mean the present. Now, today, whatever. You've probably noticed that English has become the official language of the Holy Land. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Animus is translating speech it deems vital into more modern English, so expect a few anachronisms. I could probably make it more authentic, but... You ever read Chaucer? Who? Yeah, definitely not for you. Can you tell me more about Abstergo? What goes on here? Beyond the whole keeping me prisoner thing. Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. There's some information on the computer over there. But you already said this isn't about testing a drug. So what's the deal? I don't like where this is going. So it's safe to assume the Animus is not a part of their public face. What, you haven't seen the commercials? Oh my god. She has a sense of humor. I'm sorry, Desmond. I've got a lot of work to do. Like I said, if you want to know more about the company, take a look at the computer. The telecommunication stuff is particularly interesting. God damn it! What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. It was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready, 
They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway, I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc. I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestors started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nutjobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy? Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope. It's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when it- I'm pretty sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten a lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stillman? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Masayev. 
So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Masayef, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me, you know, for my ancestor, to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem, Mr. No, Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. I said get up, goddammit! Listen! Oh no. Seems your assassin friends found us. What? How'd you do it, Desmond? Hey, look, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever's going on down there has got nothing to do with me. They're here for you, and I sure as shit didn't invite them. What's the situation down there? We're taking heavy fire. Can you contain it, or do I need to evacuate the prisoner? Only five or six. We've got them outnumbered. A couple of wounded, but we'll pull through. We'll get it under control. God damn you, Desmond. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I told you I had nothing to do with this. How would I even contact them? Telepathy? Come on! Doesn't matter. They'll be dead soon enough. Here, have a listen. That's been neutralized. Looks like the cavalry won't be coming. Dunno, Doc. We're freaking out a minute ago. Your little research facility not as secure as you thought it was? Worried they'll be back with more? I don't think so, Desmond. What Lucy here is trying to say is that there aren't any assassins left to come for you. We've been very busy this past year, hunting down your little enclaves, your desert communes and whatnot. I'm afraid you're on your own. Rest up, Mr. Miles. Tomorrow, we finish this. I'm sorry, Desmond. You mentioned the desert. Do you think... They sent a team there, but the place was deserted. I don't know where your parents are, and I can't promise they're still alive. But I think they got away. Thanks. Thanks for checking. It's not as bad as it seems. What are you talking about? They just killed, literally killed, my only chance of getting out of here. And then I find out the assassins are all but destroyed, and, and Christ, I still don't know what these people are planning. But I do know they plan to kill me when they're done. I am screwed, okay? What do you want me to do? Just try and have a little faith. You're... Have faith. Rest up, Desmond. You're gonna need the energy. What the hell was that? Well? We've got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. 
Stop undermining my authority. I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? <laughs> 